Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be getting ready together and I wanted to recreate the makeup I had on in my Sephora haul video. A few of you asked if I could recreate that makeup and I need to get ready today anyway so I figured I would just do the same makeup I did for that video. I really liked how it turned out too so we're gonna do that today and if you're new here my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty and makeup content here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope you'll subscribe and let's get started. All right, the first thing I used was the Say Glowy Super Gel Primer. And I think, or this is not technically a primer, I guess, but I used it that day like a primer. And I think this is one of the reasons I liked the makeup I did that day because I paired this primer with the foundation that we're gonna use, which is more of a matte foundation. So I think the two really kind of balanced each other out well. So I applied this all over. I used probably about a pump and a half of this. And this is the lighter one in Star Glow. I used the Pixie Color Corrector in the shade Brightening Peach. This has actually been my color corrector of choice recently. I kind of go through phases with these where I'll use one a lot for, I don't know, a few weeks and then I start using another one and I kind of rotate them. But lately I have really been liking this one from Pixie and I think the reason I have really enjoyed it is I started using it with my finger and this formula is kind of similar to the Sigma color corrector. It gives just more coverage, but the formula is similar in that it really works the best I've found with your finger. And it works really well. I like it a lot. The only thing I don't like is the packaging. I think I mentioned this before, but it is so hard to get your finger in this tiny little um, pot. It's just it's too small. And if they were going to make it this small, I wish they would just make these sides on this jar not so tall so you could actually get your finger in there. But other than that, i really been liking this one. Okay, moving on to foundation. The one that I've been using or that I used that day is this one, yes, very pricey. It's the new Gucci foundation, the 24 hour breathable luminous matte foundation. And I've tried this before, but the other day I really, really liked the way it wore on me and I just liked how it looked overall. So I take one pump because a little bit of this spreads quite a bit. So I don't, um, use a ton of it because I just kind of dotted that all over and I still have quite a bit left on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna switch it up today and use this brush. This is the Sigma F80. I'm trying to give my other brushes a little bit of a break and this one is clean so we'll use this. I've gotten a few comments lately and I don't really understand the comments, but I've seen a few of them about something about how I don't like apply foundation in a certain area on my forehead. And I, I just, I don't really know what people mean. I don't really focus much on my forehead because I don't need a lot of product there. So I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, I've gotten some interesting comments about that lately. It's kind of funny. I don't even notice these things and people love to point them out. And half the time, I don't even know what they're talking about. You can see that little bit of product goes a very long way and gives really great coverage. Oh, also I wear shade... 160 N in this foundation and actually it's a pretty spot-on 
shade match for me. So if you're around my skin tone, that's the shade that I wear. And I think the key with this foundation, first of all, is remember it's full coverage, honestly, so you really don't need a ton of it. And a little bit spreads quite a bit. So like I have this on the back of my hand and I'm not even going to use it because I don't need it. But I think this foundation paired with a really glowy primer. I don't know. Something about the two just really mesh well together. But I really like how it looks. Okay, I'm going to go into bronzer now. And I used the Rare Beauty bronzer stick the other day and I used my newest shade which is bright side so it's the one that's a little bit more cool toned I'm just gonna use my BK Beauty 106 to apply this I've really been liking doing my bronzer before concealer lately and that's what I did the other day but I love this color of the rare beauty much cooler not super cool but it's definitely cooler than her other shades this is such a nice bronzer formula you guys if you are looking for a new one cream bronzer these are such a nice formula I mean they just blend so easily it's crazy Making sure I bring some down my neck as well. We're gonna go in with concealer now. This is the Bobbi Brown Skin, I think, I can't ever remember the name of this, Skin Full Cover Concealer in the shade Cool Ivory. And I'm just gonna apply this under my eyes. This is new to me, I was gifted this for um, a little Instagram post that I did. So I'm still kind of testing this one out, but this is what I wore the other day. And I'm just going to blend that in with the A506 from BK Beauty. I actually used a powder blush for this makeup, so... Typically I would do cream blush and then concealer if I was following this method, but I'm going to go ahead and do concealer since I did use a powder blush for that video. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of the Kosas powder in Breezy and I'm not going to apply much of this because Honestly, this foundation doesn't really need a whole lot, but I want to do just like a very light amount just to make sure the blush goes on well. And I'm using the 55 brush from Sephora. Okay, the best part is the blush that I was wearing. I was gifted, and I can't believe I'm even saying this, but I was gifted the new Armani blushes. These are the Luminous Silk blushes and I was gifted four of the shades. I think they come in eight shades total. Sephora only has six shades. I was gifted four of those six, but I think there might be eight shades in total. Anyway, I was gifted them. I did a Instagram video applying all four shades. I might even upload it here on YouTube too, but anyway, the one I had on in the video was this one. So this is shade 51. I believe it's called, oh, Amour. This one is called Amour and it's just a dusty rose pink. Oh my gosh, you guys, I loved these so much. So they are very buildable blushes. So they're not like intense pigment like the House Labs blushes, like that House Labs blush. I just tried the new one in Hibiscus Haze. That one was very matte and very silky, but pretty pigmented pretty quickly. They, these are not that. These are more of like a buildable formula, but they are really, really pretty. I have four of them and I love all four 
one of the four shades that I got, I think it's shade 50, is like a peachy pink. That one is kind of shimmery. The other three that I got are not shimmery, but they're not flat matte blushes. They look kind of matte in the pan, but they're really not. They give you kind of that luminous matte finish, which I personally really enjoy. But this color is like what I love in blush. I love a rosy pink. That's just my favorite color. And they just apply so nicely. So if you were interested in these from Armani, they are very nice. You can get them, like I said, at Sephora during the sale if you want. They are on the small side. That's the only thing is the size is pretty small for the price. Um, but again, when do you go through a whole powder blush? Most of us don't do that very often. But just so you know, they are kind of on the small side, but very nice. Okay, moving on to brows. I've been loving this Rare Beauty Brow Duo. So I used the dark shade right here, and I use that for most of my brow. I really only use this lighter shade in the very inner corner. So I'm gonna go into the darker shade, which matches my brow hair really, really well and just kind of fill in lightly anywhere where I have sparse areas and I wear the shade light brown. Honestly kind of become so obsessed with this stuff since I used it in my Rare Beauty video. I love it so much. filled in my brows and then I set them with the Benefit Fluff Up Brow Wax. Now we're going to move on to the eyes. This was one of my favorite parts of this makeup. So I'm going to do a little bit of eye primer first. I've really been enjoying the Rare Beauty eye primer. So I started with a little bit of this all over my eyes. This formula is really nice. It's super thin and easy to spread on your eyes. I really, really like it. And then it does kind of set itself, so I don't really find that I need to set this with any powder or anything before I go in with eyeshadow. For eyeshadow, don't get mad at me, but this is what I used and I've been using it so often this Surat eyeshadow. So they sent this to me a month or two ago in PR and uh, they made this little palette or they sent me these four shades and you put them in a palette. That's how their palettes typically work. You buy the singles and then you buy a little palette and you basically make your own palette or they do have a few pre-made palettes and there's one. I forget what the name of it is. I have to see if I can find it and I'll Put a picture of it up on the screen but I went and put my name on the wait list for that palette because it's out of stock most places right now when it comes back I will be buying it that's how much I like these eyeshadows so what I really been doing a lot lately is taking this taupey shade and this warmer brown I kind of take a little bit of each with a fluffy eyeshadow brush and I'll put the shade names of the individual shadows in the description box. I can't think of them off the top of my head, but I'll list them below. So I take a little bit of both. Oh no, my cat's in here with me. Hold on, Belle. You wanna go out? Belle, do you wanna say hi to the camera? No. No. Okay. Hold on. Sometimes she likes to be in here with me and sometimes she wants to and then she immediately wants to go out again. So anyway, so I'm just mixing a little bit of those two shades and probably my favorite one honestly is this like taupey color. I'm going to add a little bit more of that one 
to the outer corner. And these are just, oh, they're so pretty and soft and they're very buildable. So they're not super intense pigment initially. Really not super intense pigment at all, but you can build them up a little bit if you want, but they're just so blendable and easy to use. And they give, or they have a little bit of sheen to them, but they're not like shimmery really. I don't know how to explain it, but I love them. So I've been doing that on both eyes. And then I took a little bit of this pink color on my finger. And I basically put that on the lid, but mainly kind of in the center portion. Such a pretty color for spring. Then I will take the lightest shade in here, this like light champagne color, put that in my inner corner. And then I kind of take a little bit in this inner part of my lid too, like just a tiny little bit. And that was pretty much it for eyeshadow other than I think I did take a little bit of the same two shades I put in my crease and I just put a little bit of those on my bottom lash line. And then I did do a wing liner that day, but it was a pretty small baby wing and I really liked how it looked. Sometimes I can do it really easy, sometimes I can't, but we're going to try to do it again today. This is the liner that I used. It's the one size point made liquid eyeliner in busty brown. I like this one. It's pretty easy to use. So I've kind of talked about how I do this or how I think about it in my head before. So you need a mirror to hold really close to your face. And I start with my first line. So I kind of follow my natural lower lash line and follow it up to this tail of my brow. And I just make my first little line. And I try to make it as thin as I possibly can. Then I go about halfway into my eye and I kind of lay the liner down like this. Again, I just try to keep it close to the lash line. Once I get to the end of my eye, I will start kind of halfway between where we started this line and the end of my eye. I'll take the eyeliner and draw straight across and connect to that first line that we made. And I have a fold right there, so I have to just go straight over the fold, which that's the hard part. If you have hooded eyes, that's when it gets really tricky. The best way I found to do it is first of all keep your eye open do not close your eye and then you have to relax your eye don't like make any weird facial expressions or anything because your line when you open your eye is gonna look weird if you do that you have to like have your eye in its resting position and do it over how your eyes naturally are. I know it's it's tricky, it's definitely not easy. I really liked how my wings looked that day. But like I said, sometimes they are really good and sometimes they're not. That one's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eye and speed through it. I did use this eyeliner in my waterline. This is the Master Pro Pigment Pencil from Makeup by Mario in soft brown. And I added this in the waterline, really just in the outer half where 
I did the liner. For mascara, I used my favorite right now, which is Rare Beauty. And I already curled my lashes. I didn't show that, but I curled them. For my lips, I did this Tarte Lip Liner. This is the Maracuja Juicy Lip Liner in Dusty Rose. This is a nice lip liner. It kind of reminds me of the Rare Beauty lip liners. I think the other day I used the Rare Beauty lipstick in Creative. But I'm going to use this one today instead. This is the Luster Glass from MAC. And thanks, it's MAC. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully this was helpful if you were one of the people that requested this makeup. This is pretty much the same thing I did a few days ago. But thank you so much for watching. I will list and link everything below for you as always. I'm actually going to film the Sephora haul part two after this. So stay tuned for that if it's not up already. I did also want to remind you I will be doing a live this coming Saturday which is April 22nd at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I hope you can join and I do have a little giveaway that I'm going to be doing during the live for those of you that can tune in. So I hope to see you there. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and follow me over on Instagram at simply.blair and TikTok simply.blair1. And I will see you next time. Remember, simply be you.